God, we need to wake up. God is not like that. That is why we need to have an intimate relationship with God. channel I am Bukola Ori. I make videos from Italy. I vlog about food, faith, music, relationship and lifestyle. <laughs> if you are new here, benvenuto! Welcome to my channel. Please support me by subscribing and remember to turn on the notification bell so that YouTube can notify you anytime I post a new video. Okay, Bavi. Today I am very excited to share a very important topic with you. How to build a relationship with God. Some people make it seem as if it is very hard to serve God. They make us have that feeling that serving God is difficult. Some fake pastors are leading people astray. There are some churches in Africa that make their congregation do weird things like eating grass to be closer to God, drinking bleach, kissing their female members, all in the name of sucking demons out of them. This is absurd. Children of God, we need to wake up. God is not like that. That is why we need to have an intimate relationship with God. The Bible makes us to understand that in the end times, false Christ, false pastors, they will arise. And that is why God has warned us that we should test all spirits to know if they come from God. But how can we test the spirits if we are not spiritually mature and spiritually equipped? This is why we need a dynamic relationship with God. Jeremiah 29 Verse 13 says, You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. We need to habitually and to continually seek God's face. God wants us to be closer to Him. And he wants to have an intimate, a dynamic relationship with Him. He didn't tell us to go seek a pastor to see His face. We need to personally seek Him. I see these things that pastors tell their members to do and I, I, I weep inside of me and I feel like why are people so gullible? When I was younger, my pastor would tell, would tell us, his members, that you need to seek God, you need to be closer to God, you need to personally pray to God so that in the times, in hard times, we won't be running elder scatter for miracles. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 11 says, Put on the old armor of God, and he may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. The word of God tells us that he that is in heart is greater than he that is in the world. But we need to personally seek God's face. We need to be close to him. But we can't have all this if we don't know God. For a relationship to work, for a friendship to work, it means that the both of you know each other. You know yourselves very well. That is what we call relationship. And we have this free access to the Heavenly Father through Jesus, through faith in Christ. Because Jesus has come to die for us. He died for the atonement of our sins. So how can we have this relationship with God? Number one, by studying and meditating on His Word. The Word of God refreshes us. It revives us. The Word of God helps us to, to know who God is. It is a step-by-step -step guide to living a life that is pleasing unto God. I want you to imagine something. You buy a bed. But this bed comes with a manual. Because for you to be able to assemble your bed frame, you will need this manual. So the step by this manual is a step-by-step -step guide to assembling the bed frame. So for you to assemble it, you need to be reading your manual 
to know what to do okay i need my nails i have to put my screw here i have to do this i have to do that that is how our spiritual life is the bible is our manual it is a step-by-step -step guide to live an upright life you don't have to read the bible from genesis to revelation in a day or in a month take it step by step start by reading a verse of the bible you can start from uh, you can start from the new testament you can start from the book of john or matthew i started from the book of john because it's it simply explains who jesus is it simply explains what jesus mission is his promises for us so take your time you don't have to rush it start by reading a verse okay for example john chapter 1 verse 1 what does it say in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word was god digest on this verse let it deeply sink into your heart take your time the word of god gives hope it gives freedom it gives life it gives joy it gives love it gives peace the book of Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. This book of law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. The, the, the word of God is complete. It reveals all the treasures, all the hidden treasures to us. That's what the word of God is all about. The word of God teaches us. It guides us. The Bible says the word of God is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. We are the light of the world. So let your light shine. Let it shine before men. So that men can see, people can see this light and they glorify your God in heaven. Before studying the Bible, ask for the help of the Holy Spirit. Pray to the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, I need you to interpret everything I'm going to read. I need you to help me understand and ask that God gives you the grace to walk according to what His Word says. Number two, prayer. Prayer is essential for our lives. Prayer is to partner with God. It means spending time with God. It means communicating with God. God wants us to speak with Him. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17 says, Pray without season. Pray without stopping. It has to be a continuous thing. God loves it when we speak to Him. He wants to hear us talk. Prayer is a way to establish a relationship with God. We don't have to see prayer as a religious right. There was a time in my life, like my prayer was, life was, was just, oh, thank you, Jesus, for waking me up this morning. Bless your name. That's it. It was superficial. I wasn't even believing in what I was praying. I wasn't believing in my prayer. Prayer is just like we breathe in. It is important for our spiritual life. It's not, it doesn't end there. You should be able to listen to him too. Listen to God. Be silent too. Open your heart to listen to him. You don't just have to do the talking all the time. Asking, asking, asking. Yes, it tells us to ask. But there should be a time that we'll be ready to listen to him. Number three, surround yourself with the right people. First Corinthians chapter 15 verse 33 says, Bad company corrupts good character. Who are your friends? Are they people that influence you negatively? Or are they people that keep you on track? The Bible tells us, Come out from among them. If there are people that are not making you grow spiritually, come out from among them. Leave them. 
Surround yourself with godly friends. Proverbs chapter 27 verse 17 says, As iron sharpens iron, so a friend sharpens a friend. Proverbs 13 20, He that walketh with, he that walketh, with wise men shall be wise, but a companion of fools shall be destroyed. I remember when I was in school, I was working with friends that were cursing, they were swearing, and I started to do the same thing. But the people you work with influence your life. Is it that they, they influence your life positively or negatively? I thank God for my life because the Holy Spirit has arrested me. Don't we allow anyone to spoil you through philosophy, through fame and deceit. Don't let any pastor or any teacher teach you heresies, teach you the wrong things. Even these things I'm saying, go check them in your Bible. Test every spirit if they are from God. Any preaching you hear before you digest it, is it coming from God? We need to grow up spiritually and that can only happen if we have a dynamic and personal relationship with God. God has a plan for you. He has created you uniquely. You are his masterpiece. He wants you to have life. The Bible says in the book of John chapter 10 verse 10, the thief has come only to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But Jesus Christ has come to give us life, and that that life, we might have it abundantly. He wants us to have abundant and eternal life. But He is not going to force you. He wants you to make a choice. Are you ready to make that choice today? Are you ready to build that relationship with God? His word says, seek Him. Don't mind anybody. Let them make jest of you. Let them mock you. Let, let them say whatever they want. But you know your goal in life. That goal is to make heaven. He loves us. He has great plans for us. And his promises are sacrosanct. Just give him a chance today and not tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have questions or prayer points, you can leave them in the comment section or send an email to bukolaori at gmail.com. Thank you so much for watching. God loves you and God bless you. Thank you. Ciao.